Pallavi and we are here at Sarafa Bazaar in Indore which is a very famous night street uh, food market and we have heard that there are a lot of night food markets here which is just so refreshing for us. The weather is so nice, I hope you all can hear me and we have found so many different things to eat. The lighting is on point and we're just going to explore and eat everything, just about everything. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let's go explore. what all we saw because there was so much food it's so good and super good so we're sitting in the street and uh, we're just sitting on the floor almost on the floor just, there's just a little pedestal and uh, we were remembering our days at India Gate right and um, yeah let's taste it you like it? Okay guys, so this is the first thing we're having this is fried rice, simple fried rice and we're about to taste it It's like home cooked food. Mm. And guys, you know what? They even have a roti and uh, 10 different flavors of uh, gold gappe. I'm we are, like going crazy right now. We don't know what to eat and what not to eat. So, you are in for a food fest here. Yeah, so, keep watching. Hey guys, so the next course of action is some. Um, uh, we actually got really hot because it was so hot, the rice. We wanted something with dahi. So, we've got. Um, the heat patasa. This is what it looks like. It's basically golgappa with some potatoes inside and all the usual stuff. Oh, so yeah, and I just had one. It was so good. I actually had one on camera, but then I realized it's not filming. So. <laughs> and also, I talked about this water bottle. They call it mendak. We heard them saying that, oh, uh, could I have a mendak? And we were just hoping that it won't be a real mendak. Mendak is frog in Hindi. So yeah, this is what the main deck is called. It's so cute. We've got this really cool stall. So first of all, I want you to see this device. It's a device that they use to... So that's a raw that's a raw ticket, right? So he kept it on the sides. And then he used this to bring it here and then crush it so that it becomes like this. Which I've never seen. So that's super cool. I hope you understand. understood me. Then I want to introduce you to this. This is called a garadu. If you can see right there. That is made from jamikan. So this is garadu. It's supposed to be salty. And it's made from this. It just looks like an animal or a stick. But this is what it is. It's hard but it's soft. Anyway, but look at the beautiful poha. That my fellow crew is just too excited to so have. My fellow crew is having the poha. And he, he was so nice. He gave us on a little stick. Look like that. How is it? Is it good? Yeah. Oh, so it's sweet. That's sweet. Why is it sweet? That poha is sweet. But it's kind of, it, it, it grows on you. That's so weird. No. <laughs> That's so weird. It's a sweet poha. Wow. Okay. That. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Did you see that? They're so serious about their tikkis. They need two people to flip it. By the way, this is coconut crush. So they crush up the coconut pulp and the flesh of it, and then they just crush it with some milk and not milk, water and ice. And it's no flavor, by the way. Don't ask for flavor. <laughs> you look like us. It's very fresh and it tastes so good. It's a must have for sure. It's really awesome. This is called Garadu. The thing that I was showing you, we finally bought it and it tastes, looks like wood, but it takes, tastes really dry from inside, but there's masala outside, so it's confusing, but it's really nice and different. So it's nice. I mean, good to try. Okay. I... 
It's like very creamy because of the chocolate. You know, for inside and outside. It's very creamy. It doesn't it taste like a pan does. Okay guys, so here we're eating an Indori Gundi pan. It comes in a pair, so... Okay. And it's supposed to be sweet, so... I see some... Is this sesame or what? I don't know, but let's, let's try it. Here it goes. Ah. So different, very weird. <laughs> Not something that you would eat, but it's, it's like a dessert. It's quite nice though. Guys, so this is the street that we're going through. Do you hear the silence? Yeah. So there's still people going on. There's nothing like unsafe about it. The Delhi girl and me is like very alert. More than alert. My, what do you call it? My samurai reflexes are working. Look at this building. It's so old and beautiful but right now and there were guys going on bikes from this way and my crew was like just walk in a straight line <laughs> we're like so paranoid i'm like super paranoid but it's okay it's right right there but there are policemen on everything every, every crossing there are policemen standing and they seem very sincere i don't know the uniform seems nice and whenever we hear boys we're like turning <laughs> and being like we know about you so yeah <laughs> Hey guys, I'm sitting on top of the toilet. I mean, I'm not on it like that. I'm, I'm clothed, if you know what I mean. I'm just sitting here. Um, just want to close off this vlog saying that the Sarafa Bazaar was an amazing experience. It was so awesome. And if you come to Indore, you should definitely go there. If you're a foodie, you should especially come here just to go to Sarafa Bazaar. It was an amazing experience. One of a lifetime experience. I would just highly, highly recommend it. And it was not very far from the hotel even. And the city has so many malls and everything. So it's like a city city. And I did you know in the Indore is the cleanest city in India. So that really shows even in Sarafa Bazaar, like every little stall had their own dustbin, which is not just overflowing and they were just not trying to aim it. But then if they miss the aim, they would just be like, yeah, it's on the road, whatever. It's not like that. They really cared about it. And there were the Nagar Nigam cars going on where they were like, well, if you've thrown anything, just make sure to put it in the dustbin. So that was very nice. Right now, we're feeling so sleepy and just drunk on food, literally. So we're just going to crash. But it was amazing. Everything was so good. And the people that served us, the Garadu, were just so like, Garadu, by the way, is yam, we found out. So we had yam. And... Uh, they were so nice they were like a lot of people told me ma'am you're just gonna take a video and photo or you're gonna eat it also very nice like ma'am you're just taking a video eat it too i'm like yeah yeah i'm gonna eat it don't worry people were very nice nobody was like staring at you or whatever the weather was so nice and there was a rajwada palace right next to it I, i'll probably go there tomorrow but i'm super lazy but i'll try my best to go to but yeah, it was a great experience. Sarafa Bazaar is A1. Let me know if there's a street in your city where it's all about food and it's like really famous. Like in Delhi, we have a bunch, but these, one, these ones, they go on for the whole night, at least till late night. So that was something we saw for the first time. So it was awesome. And they were not like hawkers who were just shouting, come to me, come to me. People didn't care. They were like, you want to come here? You come here because everyone is going to get equal business. It's fine. People were nice. And... If we even told them that, you know what, we just want to taste, you know, give us half a plate, we don't want to waste food. They just gave us little bits to taste. They were like, fine, if you want to taste it, just taste like this. So they were very kind and nice too. So it was good to see that. And uh, we felt like foreigners there. There was one other literal foreigner who was like a white person. So it was him and us. Because when we went to the little um, coconut crush place, we were like, what are the flavors you have and people just started looking at me i was like okay maybe i was not supposed to ask that question and then my friend was like can we get a straw and i was taking video we were like we show sure people would think there's such foreigners <laughs> such divas but anyways nothing wrong in being a foreigner by the way hope you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to like it up and i'll see you in the next vlog bye bye